Alrighty, well, hello, sinners. How are you? Hello, my sinners. Happy December, and welcome back to today's installment of the Letterboard of Truth. As you can see, our quote for the day is x marks the spot oh comrades today's gonna be a good one because of the topics i cover my content is typically catered to adults in fact according to my youtube analytics the majority of my sinners are anywhere from 18 to 34 years old because of this i've realized that i need to think of the children for once i've excluded an entire age group for so long but that changes today. I mean, think of all the great YouTubers with very young audiences. We got Jake Paul. I wouldn't crawl up there. Why? Okay. James Charles. It's socks. David Dobrik. Oh my God! Even Shane Daw. Not Shane. Sh Shane Dawson. <laughs> They're all very upstanding creators who've contributed nothing but positivity to the YouTube community. I mean, <laughs> who wouldn't want to be like them? Okay, so this is the part where we say no. And what better way to think of the children than to brainwash them and tell them that every single thing they've learned up until this point is wrong. And I know that sounds bad, but I personally won't be doing the brainwashing, so I have nothing to be sorry for. Upon recent discovery, I've learned that the best way to indoctrinate children is by showing them the Tuttle Twins. Someone sent me this channel a while back to my Google form linked in the description. And if you don't know who or what the Tuttle Twins are, it is a right-wing children's book series written by a freedom-loving parent named Connor Boyack. The Tuttle Twins series is meant to combat the supposed leftist and wokest ideologies children are taught in schools. The Tuttle Twins have garnered quite a bit of attention recently due to how absurd their YouTube advertisements are. I swear it's like they're not not even trying to hide the fact that they want to indoctrinate children and their parents. But before we watch some of these advertisements, let's learn a little more about the mission behind the Tuttle Twins. So when you arrive to the homepage of TuttleTwins.com, you will be greeted with this lovely headline. Are your kids being brainwashed? Not yet. Our children's books help you teach your kids how the world really works. Dear parent, if you're like me, you're worried about the new normal society is trying to cram down our throats. In the wake of COVID-19, the government has asserted its power, printed a ton of new money, and restricted our rights. To make matters worse, the public school system, the mainstream media, and the entertainment industry aren't helping. They are openly pushing socialism and wokeism into the minds of our kids every day. Just recently, an elementary school in my community plastered the wall with the ABCs of socialist activism, teaching kids terms such as W is for woke, S is for social justice, and A is for activist. These radical messages work their way into school curriculum, movies, advertising, and social media platforms to persuade our impressionable children. Oh, the horrors of teaching our kids not to be xenophobic. Whatever will we do? Parents like you struggle to find educational material that doesn't lie about our nation's history or teach that the government is the solution to our problems. I mean, I would agree with the fact that schools don't give us the full truth about history, and I think that's because our curriculum is taught from a very whitewashed perspective. And a lot of the time, this same curriculum tries to downplay the atrocities that the United States has committed, but I don't think that's what they were getting at. You want to help your children learn about true history, sound money, personal freedom and responsibility, entrepreneurship, individual rights, and more. I'm convinced the children who are forced to read these books will either turn into A, gay leftists who reside on Stan Twitter, or B, 
TikTok dating coaches who sell $300 courses on how to look at a woman. Remind me to check back in like 10 to 15 years to see if my theory came true. And what's critical is that we empower our children to understand these time-tested principles so that they can recognize and reject the brainwashing they will be bombarded with in the world. I don't want them damn socialists brainwashing our kids. That's our job. If you scroll down the homepage for a bit, you will come across this fun graphic that seems like a variation of the silent protector meme, but no, like, they're very serious. Shield your kids with the Tuttle Twins. Anti-family, anti-freedom, socialism, Marxism, media lies, and collectivism. This would be an amazing piece of satire if they weren't being so serious. The blurb next to the image is even worse. Our books recognize that the world is full of companies, people, and politicians who want to expose your children to ideas you do not support. This includes school teachers who see their job as activism to spread leftist ideas and encourage children to think like they do. The Tuttle Twins empower parents like you to make sure your children have a foundation of freedom, to understand the ideas of a free society that socialists are trying to hard to undermine. How is it freedom if you're telling your kids what they can and can't believe, instead of letting them decide on their own? Conservatives just love using fear-mongering as an advertisement tactic, don't they? All you gotta do to succeed in right-wing media is throw the word socialism into a piece of text in order to scare other conservatives into buying your fucking book. Now, if you thought the website was bad, honey, we are just getting started. Remember what I mentioned how fucking weird their YouTube advertisements are? Well, lucky for you, we are going to watch a couple of them right now. This first ad is from June of this year, and it's titled, Tuttle Twins, Children's Books That Teach the Ideas of Freedom. Back in the day when YouTube used to show dislikes, I took a screenshot of the like to dislike ratio of this video, and as of a couple days ago, this video is sitting at 8.2 thousand dislikes. Ouch. Anyways, let's watch. We must seize the means of production. Stop it, Vlad. You know the rule. That was my least favorite rule growing up. It reminds me of the one time I wanted to share a plate of fries with my cousin and my mom was like, hey, no communism at the dinner table. Also the fucking hat, the fucking hat, no. No. Subtlety is not the Tuttle twin strong suit. If you want to regulate something, go regulate the mess in your room. Get it? It's because she's a parent, you know, so, so that... So that was funny. It seems a big part about being a mom these days is helping your kids unlearn the crazy ideas they're exposed to in the world. Whoever made this print of communist Peppa Pig deserves a fun raise. Also, spoiler alert, this will be the only good thing to come out of this video. Mom, I just found out that if I run into the TV fast enough, I'll become a cartoon. Nope, that will kill you. Oh, hearty har har. <laughs> More mom humor, you gotta love it, you gotta love it. And it's not just normal kid stuff either. Now, my kids are being told by the media and even the school system that socialism is great. A common theme you will see in these ads is that they throw around the terms socialism and communism interchangeably. Just so we're on the same page, let's distinguish the differences between socialism and communism. Socialism is an economic and political system where workers own the general means of production, i.e. farms, factories, tools, and raw materials. This can be achieved through decentralized and direct worker ownership or centralized state ownership of the means of production. This is different from capitalism, where the means of production are privately owned by capital holders. On the other hand, communism is a political and economic ideology that positions itself in opposition to liberal democracy and capitalism, advocating instead for a classist system in which the means of production are owned communally and private property is non-existent or severely curtailed. Communism is a form of socialism, but socialism is typically seen as the predecessor to communism. While the two are similar, there are some discrepancies between both of them. Mama, if we just get rid of all of these successful people, we'll finally be happy. No, honey, that just means we'll all be poor. 
Again, are children learning socialism or communism? We need to know, Tuttle Twins. We need to know. Also, are they ever going to provide a solid example of socialism in the school curriculum? Or are they just going to call everything they don't like socialist? I want to teach my kids right, but it is so hard to find age-appropriate material to teach them about the principles of freedom. The blocks are the supply, and when people want them, that's demand. Is that what Dad meant when he said you're too demanding? Wow, I knew something was missing. Personally, I can always go for some good old misogyny in my right-wing propaganda. I'm so happy that a wife-hating joke made it to the final cut. Ugh. It's like the cheese on top of the pizza. Luckily, I now have the Tuttle Twins to help us. The Tuttle Twins is a series of books written for freedom-loving parents that teach correct principles about free markets in clear and relatable stories. You know, clear and relatable, so opposite of socialists. So capitalism is when relatable, but communism is when not relatable. This is so true, and I've been dying to talk about it. I thought it was so f***ing quirky of Jeff Bezos to launch his $20 million dildo rocket into space while he continued to underpay his workers. <laughs> Isn't that so quirky and relatable? Oh my god, it's also so relatable when Elon Musk tweets an outdated, unfunny meme for the fifth time in a row. <laughs> Well, maybe people on the right can actually relate to that. I mean, listen, it's not my fault conservatives aren't funny. Maybe if you just came up with better material, you know, we wouldn't be standing here having this conversation right now. Also, I don't condone bullying, but when it comes to billionaires, all bets are off. Listen, they're rich. They can afford therapy. With over 2 million copies sold, these books are the best way to teach your child real-world topics not covered by most school curriculum. What she actually means is, I don't want my kid to learn about anyone else's views except my own, but free thinking, am I right? Mom, I demand cookies. There's no more supply. Oh? Aw, look at my son being a fucking dick. That's my boy. So if you have offspring and don't want them supporting socialism, then click the link and order the Tuttle Twins books today. This woman called her children offspring? Listen, I can forgive the bootlicking for a second, but do not call your children offspring, you fucking weirdo. Well, that was fun. Are you guys having fun? I'm having so much fun. So what have we discovered so far? Number one, socialism slash communism, because they're the exact same thing apparently, is plaguing the youth of America, and children left and right are getting a hold of the works of Karl Marx. And this capitalist girl boss mommy does not like that. So what is the solution to fighting left-wing propaganda? Right-wing propaganda! On that note, let's watch another ad. Kids know that we can't survive on junk food, but the school systems fills our head with junk all the time. I'm obsessed with the thousand yard stare the girl behind him is giving. She's like, mom, take me home. I want to watch Paw Patrol. Believe it or not, we just want to learn the principles of freedom so that we can grow up and make the world a better place. Oh, uh, oh, do you? You want to teach me about the principles of freedom? Well, start out by sounding like you're not being held at gunpoint by your parents. Here's the deal. We're consuming socialist propaganda in our cartoons, on the news, even in our school system. Brayson, you better say these fucking lines or mommy's gonna cancel your Roblox membership, okay? If you wanna eat dinner tonight, young man, tell the world you hate socialism. We're basically being brainwashed. I don't want my brain to be washed. Oh, sweetie, it's already happening. For too long, kids like us have not been taught about principles of freedom. A lot of teachers, textbooks, and media outlets avoid patriotic values like oil and water. And even if they try to teach us about the proper role of government. If it's too boring, we don't pay attention. This is really important. Okay, so first they say that schools don't teach about the government, and now they're saying that they do, but kids get bored by it. So which is it? This is where our new favorite books come in. 
The Tuttle Twins is a book series written by freedom-loving parents who wanted to protect their kids from socialist ideas and empower kids everywhere to learn why free markets and individual rights are so important. Yep, nothing says freedom-loving like indoctrination. I just remember they have yet to provide a good example of socialist propaganda in school curriculums. You know, maybe they're saving that for the end of the video. By reading these stories, your kids will learn what we learned. Things like the importance of property rights. Yeah, property rights, you know, for all the property he's gonna own at 10 years old. Freedom of speech, free market economics, the proper role of government, sound money, and more. I'm confused, isn't this all just basic stuff you learn in American history? Cause I remember learning about like the Bill of Rights, the branches of government, how the American economy was formed. Like this is stuff that they do teach already. Do conservatives just get off on fictional problems they can get mad at? Let's be honest, most grown-ups don't even know these concepts. Hey! Hey, that's not true. I've listened to Hamilton several times. I know exactly what you're talking about. No kidding. I win so many of my dad's Facebook fights from what I learned from the Tuttle Twins. What? I'm snarky, but fair. Yep, that's the sole reason why children learn history. It's not so that they can study other cultures. It's not so that they can learn from our country's past mistakes. It's only to learn how to be an absolute menace on social media. This channel is single-handedly raising the next generation of the Republican hype house if they weren't already banned. Plus, the Tuttle Twins makes all of these patriotic values easy and fun to understand. Easy? Okay, sure, I'll give you that. Fun? Fun? That's the word we're going with? Mm-mm. Mm -mm. And because the creators actually want kids to learn from these books, they're really fun to read. You know, the Lord said, thou shall not lie, and this kid is lying through his f***ing teeth. Over three million copies of the Tuttle Twins books have been sold to parents who, just like you, want their kids to learn how the world really works, so they can help make it better. Three million copies sounds nice, but there are still millions of kids who don't know the principles of freedom and need to learn about it too. I'm looking at you, Dad's communist Facebook friends. Your kids need it more than most. Why is she mad at us? We're not her dad's communist Facebook friends. This feels awfully specific though, does it not? Did the writer get into a Facebook fight the night before the shoot and decide to project their anger through these children who were forced to be there? The more true principles we learn, the more prepared we'll be to improve the country we love. Sign me up. Take my money. I'm ready to make America awesome again. Oh? Oh, make America awesome again. If it wasn't crystal fucking clear before, I it 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 it's just so blatant that they want to indoctrinate children into right-wing politics. You know, I'm surprised that they don't have a MAGA flag hanging in the back of the classroom. Also, if the young actress in yellow just so happens to come across this video, a sweetheart, please let me know where your parents were on January 6th. Uh, uh, no reason, just curious. I'm, I'm just trying to make conversation. You know, like, where were your parents on January 6th? So those are the two ads that have the most views on the Total Twins YouTube channel. They don't post too frequently though. Their recent videos are just trimmed down versions of their most recent commercial. Besides the commercials, they've done a few live streams as well. About a year ago, the author Connor Boyack did a live Q&A. And since then, he has been absolutely torched in the comments because everyone wants david duke jr to teach their children values lol yikes i did watch their most recent live stream and i believe this one was from september connor and a woman named emma who works on the tuttle twins team did a one hour live q a to answer questions about the upcoming tuttle twins monthly magazine i did watch it on one and a half time speed but i still tapped out after 40 minutes because i got bored however the description for this live stream is awfully interesting. Here's the free public Q&A for our monthly magazine. Excuse me, free and public? That sounds awfully communist to me, Mr. Boyack. Next, we're gonna watch a third commercial from November 2020, and it follows the same structure as the previous two ads we watched, 
But this one is super weird, and after I play a couple clips, you'll understand why. Hey parents, kids like us have a problem, and it's one that you can help solve. But most parents aren't even aware the problem exists. This is very similar to the ads we've already seen, but what's different about this video is that these kids are Connor Boyack's actual children. And I only know this because there is a family photo on the website's homepage. So not only is the author using random children to peddle his book series, but he's also using his own kids to indoctrinate other kids. He's essentially exploiting his children to push his political agenda. Like that is that is just so fed up. How kids can be entrepreneurs. I definitely want to be my own boss someday and these books will help. Kids like us absolutely love these books. Maybe because they don't treat us like little children. Instead, they help us learn important ideas and develop critical thinking skills. It's really uncomfortable watching children speak like adults because it's so obvious that a parent or something is feeding them lines behind the camera and they're supposed to recite it like little robots. I feel like we're in a Black Mirror episode and we're learning the negative effects of late stage capitalism. Yeah, if you want to raise a free thinker, you're going to need something that teaches about freedom. So, so purchase, purchase your books now. We live in a capitalist nightmare, and I want to wake up. You know what? I decided that I'm going to hotwire Jeff Bezos' cock rocket and fucking launch myself into outer space. Would you like to come with me? I'm sure there's plenty of room. Ever since I started making this video, I was super curious at the general public's reaction to the Tuttle Twins, because unless you're fully up Donald Trump's ass, you can clearly see that this is children's propaganda. And I was right, their most popular videos have a ton of negative comments with the occasional bootlicker popping up every now and then. However, this did make me curious about the actual book reviews, because I assumed that since the Tuttle Twins YouTube channel was so swamped with backlash, that people would go to the Amazon listings and leave one-star reviews in order to bring the ratings down. To my surprise, most of the books have four to five-star ratings and an overwhelming amount of positive reviews. But some of the critical reviews were pretty interesting, so I'm going to share a few of them. This set of reviews is for the first book in the Tuttle Twins series called The Tuttle Twins Learn About the Law. My daughter received this gift from a well-intentioned family member, and we thought it would be a great way to teach her about our government, especially since we are a family of civil servants. We were horrified at the author's attempt to brainwash readers into distrusting the government and and that an unjust law isn't a law. What? It should be noted that the author also distinguishes between government and state. Government is found in business, family, church, etc., while the state is a monopoly using violence in a certain area. The inaccuracies in the text are astounding. I thought about donating the book, but will be throwing it away instead. Tough crowd. I wasn't aware that this was going to be religious based. It also taught principles like the government shouldn't force people to help each other. I'm not a fan. I'll be returning it to Amazon. If I could give these books no stars, I would. They took what should be very fact-based concepts and turned them into opinion-based brainwashing for children. I am appalled that these are being read to children. The text, some of the illustrations, dot dot dot. If you'd like your children to have a conservative-leaning, religious, anti-government, conspiracy theorist mindset, these could do the trick. Scary. I guess I'm just thankful they made them so boring. Go off, Jenny. Even some conservative parents express disdain for the Tuttle Twins. I purchased the law for my five-year-old son because it seemed like a great tool to use to teach him about the law from our family's political viewpoint. The story is not very eloquent, but it did a perfect job of bringing these concepts down to a level that he can understand. I was, however, very disappointed, even disgusted, that religion had to be thrown into the mix of this topic. It started out small, but then blew up in a big way. It is only a small portion of the story, but it is there. I was hoping to start a collection of Tuttle Twin books, but will not be now that I have to worry that topics of religion will make their way into the stories. This was such a good idea, but it fell so short. This book makes the point that God comes first, then the law. So if you or your children aren't religious, they don't feel as strongly about the law? As another reviewer said, these children are boring and too perfect. They are almost cult-like in their mannerisms, and it's unrealistic. 
I have good kids, but they can't relate to these characters at all. The book is also absurdly sexist. I'm a stay-at-home mom of conservative values, and I still found it uncomfortable. The whole book made me feel creepy. I'm so, so glad I only ordered one. Because of their subject matter and the fact that many public schools no longer teach children about our wonderful system of government, I was excited when I learned about these books. I asked around, but no one I knew had heard of them, so I ordered just one in order to form my own opinion. Despite the promising subject matter, this book does not present the material in a creative or engaging manner. It is dull. I was very disappointed and returned the book. Their idea is great, their product is not. Despite the criticism, most of the reviews on every book are pretty positive, but I did want to touch on this review for the third book in the Tuttle Twins series titled The Tuttle Twins and the Creature from Jekyll Island. This creature is meant to represent the Federal Reserve and we're supposed to learn why it's bad or something or why the author thinks the Federal Reserve is bad. We were excited to get this and several other books from a family member for our daughter. Upon first glance, it looks like a fun adventure. When reading it, we were disgusted at the anti-government messaging and anti-Semitic imagery. We will be throwing these books away rather than donating them. I haven't read the book, so I'm not sure how true that last statement is, but if you're unaware, a lot of conspiracies surrounding the US government, specifically the US economy, are rooted in anti-Semitism. These conspiracy theorists play off the stereotype that Jewish people are in control of the economy, which means that they wanna take over the world or something. Just to make it clear, I don't believe in these conspiracy theories. I think the anti-Semitism behind them is really messed up. I'm just stating what these theories are based on. And given that this book is about the Federal Reserve, part of the US economy, there's a good chance that this reviewer is right. If that is the case, I'm not surprised about the anti-Semitism but I'm even more disgusted than I already was. This is just something you should not be marketing to kids. Knowing what we know, why would anyone buy the Tuttle Twins books? Probably because the target audience is just as wackadoo as the author? Or you're a commentary YouTuber who will be doing a review. And unfortunately, I did not just buy one. I bought three, and I will probably be buying the other two books that I mentioned. I was going to spend the last few minutes discussing these books, but I don't want to give a half ass review. Plus, I have so many thoughts on the Tuttle Twins that I think this deserves its own video. So mark my words, by the end of December, I will be doing a review of the Tuttle Twins book series. And if it doesn't come out in December for whatever reason, it will be one of the first videos I post in January. So so let me know if you're excited for that. So what do we learn today? Uh, don't brainwash your kids. Also, fuck the Tuttle Twins. It's always fuck the Tuttle Twins around here. On a lighter note, if you would like to see me talk about anything particular going forward, I have a Google form linked in my description where you could submit potential video ideas. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked today's video, make sure to give it a teeny title Tuttle Twins thumbs up and subscribe down below. I love you guys and I'll see you next time with a brand new video. Bye!